Okay, so yeah. If I remember correctly, then this is going to be the way to go. And it was not next to a swamp. It was next to... It was on sand, but it was next to a very regular kind of forest. There were... I, I believe there was two or three deserts between the ranch base and either the Lost Hut or the CQHQ. It was very deserty. The only thing I'm worried about is whether or not um, if I hit newly generated stuff, if it's going to generate off in a direction that blocks my way back. I don't know what it will do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time to turn, turn. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's just go around this here. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for anything uh, that sticks out as being a bit weird. So far, so good. Everything is completely normal-ish looking. Except for this suspicious tree out here by itself with a single mushroom. Or rose. <laughs> um... Hmm. Let's see what's in here. I have a feeling this is not the right place either. No. This is some sort of small bay. Back out we go. You'll have to bear with me. I have absolutely no idea at all what the distance is to the uh, lost hut by boat. It seems like forever on foot, I do know that. <laughs> uh huh, okay. So we've, it looks like we've got some extreme hills here or whatever those are. I think that's the biome, extreme hills. Okay, I'm going to gulp this down. And there are no beaches here, so I'm going to go around this. But it is a regular looking forest. Ooh, I like how I can see under the water this way. That is wild. It's kind of disturbing, really. It's a good thing there aren't uh, sea monsters or creatures of any kind. That would really freak me out. <laughs> Except for the uh, squid, of course, but they're not really... They're so derpy, they don't really disturb me. Wow, this is a wild view here. This pink and purple sky. Pretty nice looking hills. Here we go. There's some desert. That's what we're looking for. Look at that. Is that a dungeon down there? Oh, no, wait. There's lots of collapsed square shapes. Those are probably uh, abandoned mines, actually. Huh. Uh, okay, so is this desert that I recognize, though? There's some Enderman. Arr, detour. <laughs> yep, we're going to have some uh, temporary, a little temporary pit stop here if I can get over to those Endermen without being harassed. There's a lot of mobs around here. Give me your Ender Pearls. Okay, there's zombies around. I'll just fight everything all at once. Whoa! Okay, maybe I won't. This might be a little bit much. Okay. Come here, you. Yes. Fight me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought I saw a pearl. I saw wrong. 
Let's kill this other enderman here. Whoa, hey, all right. <laughs> what? Come on, still no pearl? Whoop. Here's a creeper, though. Um, what have we got around here? No more Enderman and no hut. I don't think that this is the place. I think, oh, there's another Enderman. There is another Enderman next to these jerks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I have a freaking bow. It's all good. There we go. And once again, no pearl. <sighs> they don't like to give up the pearls. It's really a pain in the butt. Oh! <laughs> no, I will pass. I'll pass. I'm just going to mosey on out of here. Thank you very much. Man, I'm going to be sad when my night vision runs out. This is really cool. I mean, if you're going to travel on the water, being able to see everything underneath the water like this is kind of awesome. There's so much clay. Way more clay than I ever realized. It's just everywhere. They should really add some boating noise into the game. They did a nice job with the uh, minecarts on rails. How about a boat on water? Like some swishy sounds. Something. Or maybe whatever's powering this boat. Like a, <laughs> kind of like a sputtering motorboat sound or something. Well, if I'm not completely disoriented here... <laughs> I believe this should be taking us in the right direction. If I keep following this, eventually we should arrive at the lost hut. More Endermen. Was that some experience up there by him? Was this where I was? Oh. <laughs> this is right back where I was again. Come on. Bring it. Bring it, Enderman. Come on. Whoop. You brought it. <laughs> he even stops to pick up some sand along the way. That's nice. Come on. Yes! Finally. Man. Ooh. Another eye of Ender. It's worth it to stop sometimes. Go boat, go. This looks familiar. This looks very familiar. There's a forest with a river running through it. That's very much something I recall, I think. Yeah, look at that forest. I think this is the place. Yes, there it is. I just have to uh, fight my way over there. Come on. Ugh, oh, spiders. Why did it have to be spiders? Haha, <laughs> haha. <laughs> 
again, I f keep forgetting I have a freaking bow and arrow. Pretty nice one at that. <laughs> There we go. Sweet. The lost hut. Lost no more. The cow is still here. <laughs> the cow. Oh, man. Sweet. And just in time for my night vision to run out and for the sun to come up and everything. This is perfect. So now for the unveiling. What did I leave behind? Hmm. Ooh, slime balls, diamonds, iron, gold. <laughs> Not a bad haul. Look at that. I left some pretty decent stuff here. I'm going to have to uh, pick over this a little bit before I head out. All right, then. I think I've grabbed all the things that I actually care about. <laughs> it might be... Uh, <laughs> Just a few too many things, but, um, well, you know, I'm kind of a pack rat. So now, the next interesting thing about being over here is that the CQHQ should be just beyond this desert. Yep, there's the wall of chunk air. There's an angry Enderman. What are you angry at? What you, no, no, come back. Where'd you go? No, 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 no. Ugh. He's probably teleporting because he was out in the sun. Foo. Oh, well. I have two Ender Eyes now, which should be... sufficient, I think, for our, our needs at the moment. And if I go straight ahead, is that where my... I had a sort of mushroom hut. Ah, I see a dirt staircase. We are back. Let's do this. Did it get dark suddenly? Where's the sun? Uh, <laughs> that is pretty disturbing. I hope that just means it's storming somewhere. The fact that it's not raining or snowing or anything is really kind of off-putting. <laughs> okay. Oh, not quite back yet. Right, I thought there was another desert or two. There's some strips. There's these chunk areas here that are rather confusing. Such as this. Sploosh. <laughs> uh, but, if I keep moving straight ahead, I should encounter the little mushroom hut thing that I made and then CQHQ. I'm guessing this uh, low point here. Yeah, look, there's leaves hanging in the air. This looks like someplace I've been. Dirt staircase. Ah, yes. And now it's finally raining. There's my mushroom. It was raining last time I was here, if I recall. Another eaten up tree. And then we should cross over and see... Hmm. Should see CQHQ somewhere here. Is that it? I think that's it up there. Right up there. Yep. I see torches and things. I see a rail bridge. <laughs> this is the place. Flying tree. Should really cut that down. 
Oh, yes. Excellent, excellent. There's the awesome trees. <laughs> Since they're all merged together into one now. Awesome. Well, I know what I'm going to do. Let's uh, put our stuff in a safe place here. Dirt I want. Ender eyes I want. I think I want everything else here. Yeah, so that stuff will stay safe there. I wish I could see the sun so I could see what time it is. Because I would really like to... Uh, head out, but I want to set my spawn point before I do that, so that I can come back here. Well, why don't we uh, explore a little bit while we wait for the sun to go down. <laughs> oh, hello cute original furnace workbench and chest. Chest full of dirt and gravel. My first mushroom. Yeah, I've already ransacked this base uh, long ago, so there won't be anything of value here to take. It's just for looks now. That is until I come back and build a beacon here. Somewhere here. And probably add some powered rails to this bridge too. So I can actually use it again. I remember getting chased uh, chased by creepers a lot up in this spot. It wasn't a very good place for a door. Alright, the sun has gone down. The spawn point has been set. And the Eye of Ender has been thrown. Where did it go? <laughs> Did it explode? It kind of looked like it exploded. What happened? Did I lose my eye vendor on the first go? The very first try. <laughs> Just goes up in the air and pops. Looks that way. I'm not seeing uh, any eye of ender around. <laughs> Man. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown it from up there? I thought you got a few chances with it. Hmm. Let me hop down here. And we'll give it another try. This is my last one. After that, I will have to go a hunting. Okay. And that one popped. Hmm. Well, that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> what does it mean? I have no ender eyes, and there's no way there can be a stronghold there. That's... This is all alpha ground. There's, there's no... <laughs> There's no stronghold down there, I guarantee it. What the heck? Well, I'm left with no choice. I'm going to have to just 
hang around and fight Enderman until I have enough Ender Pearls to get the job done. That's why I brought a uh, grip of blaze powder with me. Well, blaze rods anyway, but that's over 60 blaze powder. And uh, you need... Uh, I don't know exactly how many you need, but I do know that you need some to open up the uh, the portal to the end anyway. So, yeah. That's my goal. Kill Enderman. The only thing I got out of those Ender Eyes was that they were going this direction and then breaking. So the fact that they went a direction, I guess, is heartening, but the fact that they broke so quickly... Um, not so much. I think I'm actually going to try to make my way back to the desert because I think the uh, the Endermen are a lot easier to see and fight on the backdrop of sand. And it's a little bit cramped up in here with all these trees and creepers and things. Oh, how about that? Oh. There's some. Just past all these freaking mobs. I'm busy. Let me pass. Ow. more Endermen over there. At the jackpot. Deserts are best for Endermen. There's actually only one over there now, so I'm gonna try to go over there because I think there's two. Yeah. Oh, man. I just pissed off a lot of things. Including two Endermen. Woo! That was a potentially bad idea. <laughs> oh. Wow. I shouldn't have lived. <laughs> I got a little over ambitious there. Just a tad. I'm holding up though. Oh, and I got a pearl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got me a pearl. There's that angry Enderman over there. There's another one there. Come here, buddy. Come on. Yes. Oh, I see a creeper behind me. Pearl. Need that pearl. Oh, trickery. Come on, come on. Let's finish this. <laughs> Let's finish this in a less stupid way. Get up here. I didn't know it was down there. And I don't want my pearl falling into, uh, well, whatever the heck might be down there. Come on. At this rate, I might not get a pearl. Pearl get. Another Enderman over there. What? <laughs> Die already. Come on, come on. Die. Come here, come here. Dang it. Whoop, oh, there he is. Come on. Yes! Getting lucky with the pearls. Very, very lucky. Whew. Man. Good idea coming to the desert. I'm really glad I did that. Are there any others around before the sun gets too high? Doesn't look like it. How many did I get? Four ender pearls. Not bad. 
not even too far from the base so I can just run back and uh, get those powders so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that now that way I can follow the trail while it's light out and uh, fight Enderman at night alright I've got four ender eyes So what I'm going to do now is head out further that direction. I'm going to toss another one of them and hopefully it'll give me a new direction to follow. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. It went back towards my base. What? But there can't be a stronghold here. Can there? Is it? No. Broken again. Hmm. I don't like the looks of this. It's uh, just going wherever. I don't know why. I don't know what that means. Um. Hmm. Okay, I have a different idea. I'm going to head off this direction a little bit. Because I know that I have not gone that direction. So over there should be newly generated terrain. And newly generated terrain, maybe, I don't know, might mean newly generated strongholds. I hope, maybe. Or maybe I just can't get a stronghold. This is weird looking here. This is all old stuff still. Has to be the way it looks with the weird leaves and weird grass. I didn't think I had much generated land over here, but maybe I did. Oh, no, wait. Here's birch trees. Birch trees absolutely 100% have to be new non-alpha yep there's a fault line there's always a fault line so this is new stuff over here so I'm gonna go down here <laughs> and uh, give my eye of ender another shot River to a wall. Um, I'm going to venture out a little bit further away from the wall. I have no idea if it's going to be helpful or not, but... I just feel like the alpha land was screwing with my, my ender pearl working correctly. Okay. This place should be as good as any, I hope. <laughs> Thanks, thank you. Spitting it out on top of a tree for me. So convenient. Uh, at least it didn't explode. Okay, so now we're heading off this direction.
Whoa. Got a ravine or a crazy cave system or something going on already. What the? Um... Okay. <laughs> Could it be that we are already... No. Okay, so now it's taking us right back here again. What the? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! I just lost that one altogether. I don't know where it went. Is it going underground? Um, well, you know, it's as good a bet as anything I've tried so far. Maybe there is a uh, stronghold at the bottom of this cave. That's what the ender eyes are seemingly uh, trying to tell me here. I'm going to give it a go. Let's see what's down here, if anything. It does seem like it's kind of a crazy cave, so... Who knows? Oh! Yes! <laughs> yes! There it is, right there! I see it. I see it. It's mine. There's the library. Yes! All we have to do is just secure a way down there and get a whole grip of uh, ender pearls. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Here we are. Oh, I'm so glad. I wasn't sure. Whoa. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to get one in my world or not. But here we are.